house isn't selling. The market is terrible. I'm Sally Daly from Daly & Company Real Estate. We hear that all the time. And here's what I have to say to that. I don't buy that. It's a market. Things sell in a marketplace. The market may vary time to time, but it's a marketplace. Things are selling. We get it. You're a seller. You made a good faith effort to put your house on the market and you believed it was going to sell and you're so disappointed that it hasn't sold. We've been there. We've helped multitudes of clients in that very scenario where they place their faith in another firm, sometimes for years, and are so discouraged that it didn't sell. We're here to offer the top seven reasons why your house isn't selling. The first one was, you gotta make it easy to show. You can't sell it if you don't show it. Be flexible for showings. The second one was, the quality of my photos it needs to be fabulous. It's a visual medium. Everybody's used to HDTV. Make sure those photos are great. The third one was, the photo order is not great. So the question is, if you're not leading with the best shots, how do you expect people to get revved up about your house? Today, I want to talk to you about something equally as important, but not visual. Price banding. What the heck is that, do you say? The advent of Zillow and Trulia have changed the way a lot of buyers search for property. What do I mean by that? Zillow and Trulia have parameters set up and they say, okay, Sally, you want to search for a house? Give me your parameters. I may say, I want to search from 100 to $149,000. Zillow is going to say, round it up, and make it even numbers. So that means my 100 becomes 100, but my 149 becomes 150. Okay? Here's why that's important. When you're pricing your property, you want to have as many eyeballs on it as possible. If I price your house at 199, that means buyers that start at 200 are never going to see you. You're invisible. So, price banding allows you the widest possible number of eyeballs on your house. So, if you're thinking $199 sounds better than $200, there could be exceptions to that rule, and talk to your real estate agent who's going to have local market knowledge to give you the best advice. But in general, the more eyeballs on your property, the better. So, the rule of thumb would be put it in a price band where instead of $199, Put it at 200. That means people from 150 to 200 are going to see it, and people from 200 to 250 are going to see it. Double the amount of people. Don't be invisible to the person that might ultimately be your buyer. Discuss price banding with your real estate agent and find out if what you thought was the old price is right mentality is no longer current with today's Zillow and Trulia mentality of how buyers really do search for houses. Make sure you're as visible as possible to as many buyers as possible. Check us out at dailyandcompany.com if you're curious about our approach to buying and selling. We'd love to share tons of case histories that we have for sellers that were discouraged and unable to get sold. We step in, conduct an audit, give them ideas about both staging, visual, key messaging, and pricing where there have been some missed opportunities and we got their houses sold. We'd love to do the same for you. Check us out, dailyandcompany.com. I hope this helps you get your house sold. Remember, the price band is your friend. Have a great day.